News 5 is your local election headquarters, and tonight many of you watched right here on News 5 as the five Republican candidates for Lower Alabama's open congressional seat debated the top national and local issues. Candidates tried to make their case as to what differentiates them from the field. I would say my biggest accomplishment has been economic development and projects that have been brought to Mobile. My best accomplishment, I would say, is, is as a veteran, uh, being able to work with all races, all religious uh, backgrounds in order to accomplish one focal mission. Uh, and our relocation business to equal over a million dollars in taxes we've paid to the community. So when it comes to creating jobs, I'm pretty good at it. Um, and I've been v very successful in one of the hardest industries in the world and never doing it before being the restaurant business. So Director, I understand fundamentally what it takes to sign the front of the checks at the end of the week. Because the people that work for me are dependent on those checks that I sign for them. And I understand what it's like to live under the, all the rules and regulations the government places on, on small businesses every day. Uh, after 12 years of being out of public office, I returned to the Alabama House of Representatives, uh, and I hold the record. I've repealed 350 laws and done away with 77 different state boards, agencies, and commissions. I, I, as an Alabama state senator, I was elect, or, uh, uh, voted consistently as the most conservative Alabama state senator, one of the top conservative senators. Federal spending, fiscal conservatism is supposed to be a... And News 5 broadcast tonight's debate on TV from 6 to 7. We were active across social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook Live, during the debate. And uh, we also provided another 30 minutes of coverage strictly on digital on our website, WKRG.com, from 7 until 7.35. Now, three Democrats are also running for this seat that's been in GOP hands since 1965. The primary election is March 3rd. 